Here is the fifth part of question 4 of exercise 5.1 of chapter 5. This question asks whether the given sequence of number is an AP or not. If this is an AP, find the common difference T and write three more terms of this AP. So, to check whether this is an AP or not, we shall subtract first term from the second term and the second term is 3 plus under root 2 and we shall subtract 3 from it so we when we cancel out this negative 3 this positive 3 we are remains with root 2 now we shall subtract second term from third term and the third term is 3 plus 2 under root 2 and we shall subtract second term which is 3 plus under root 2 and when we solve this we get 3 plus 2 under root 2 minus 3 minus under root 2 and when we solve it we can cancel out this negative 3 with this positive 3 and we can subtract this minus root 2 from this positive 2 root 2 and we get root 2 once again now we shall subtract third term from the fourth term and we see that the fourth term is 3 plus 3 under root 2 and the third term is 3 plus 2 under root 2 get 3 plus 3 under root 2 negative 3 negative 2 root 2 and we can cancel out this negative 3 with this positive 3 and we can subtract this negative 2 root 2 from this positive 3 root 2 and we also get root 2 here so we observe that the difference between two consecutive terms is same therefore this is this is an ap and the common difference t is equals to under root 2 this is our solution now we have the first term equals to 3 and the common difference equals to under root 2 now we have to find out the fifth sixth and seventh term and we know that the fifth term is a plus 4d therefore this is equals to a plus 4 root 2 and the sixth term is a plus 5d this is equals to a plus 5 under root 2 and the seventh term is a plus 6d this is equals to 3 plus 60 therefore the next three terms are 3 plus 4 root 2 3 plus 5 root 2 and 3 plus 6 root 2 this is the solution of the question thank you